Well, howdy, everybody. Old Pa here. It's Sunday, um, June 25th already. Can you believe that? A few days, it's going to be July. It'll be seven months since first of the year. Wow. Time sure do fly when you're busy, huh? Anyway, I just got done weed whacking. Mammy mowed yesterday before I got home. And she don't, she's like the maid that don't do windows. She don't weed whack, so. But that's okay, she did a nice job mowing. Trying to get the old place looking better. So I went along weed whacked. There's a little striker. Hey baby, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Huh? She just did a big barf over here. I don't know if she's eating grass or something. She must be got an upset stomach. But anyway, the old chicken ranch. Got her trimmed up. Mamie's got her flowers out. So, uh, take a break, have a little iced tea, and then I'll sweep up all these stupid weeds that I whacked down. But this is why we like it here. It's an old house and everything, but Here's the view from my porch. There's my sitting chair, right, child? Look. There's the view, man. There's no neighbors around here. My neighbor, closest neighbor I got down here about, I don't know, half a mile away. Matter of fact, he's up on, he's up here now with his farm all cut in hay. I can hear it over there. But this is the view we got from sitting on the front porch. We got 100 acres up here. It's, a nice piece of property. I really wished I spent more time enjoying it, to be honest with you. But what are you doing, Striker? Huh? A little nose bag. She come up here. She got all covered with them green devil horns or whatever you call them, stupid green seeds. Look like she just got a bath too. <laughs> That's my neighbor's puppy, but we got a Westy too, so. Mr. Boo. Yeah, this is our, these fields, he's got corn planted there, just moved to hay. My neighbor farms it because I don't have time. So he, I told him just use it like it's his. He takes good care of it, he keeps the fields mowed. He just mowed that hay, I figure he's fixing to bail that up today probably before it rains. Hopefully it don't rain, but it looks like it might. Anyway, he just put the corn in there, and it's coming up pretty good. I think, I reckon that's sweet corn. He usually puts some sweet corn in, and we get to raid it, too. <laughs> Tell you what, the old ground around here is fertile. It grows good crops. That's, uh, our property goes up to that set of fields up there, but then that's my neighbor Rex's. They got them big deer stands up there. This place is like, uh, deer hunting heaven up here. It's some of the best white tail hunting in the country up here. It's really good. But we got bear. Mammy had a bear right up here in the street the other day. She had a big old black bear come right out of the woods and cross the road right up to Chanda here. So that's Danny's old mobile home over there. He don't live there no more. He bought a house. but. Marky, the truck driver, and his woman was renting it last year, and then they bought a house. So it's sitting there empty, debating on whether to take it down or just. My brother and the gang used it for camp uh, for camp last year when they come down hunting. So. But anyway, kind of done with my chores. Well, I got home. I got in last night at about seven. Saturday, about seven o'clock p.m. from the super super secret. Um. The super secret job which I'm just about done with I should finish it this week and then uh, here I'll turn it around here yeah and then we should be able to uh, put some videos up they just don't want us doing any public media stuff you know whatever but once once we're done and out of there I don't think it'll matter they kind of told me that the one foreman he said hey, you can put them up after we leave so but they don't need any um, you know, they don't want any, whatever you call it, press, you know what I mean? So, but anyway, uh, I got some good video. I think it's pretty cool. I'm, I've been anxious to put it up, but uh, it's just neat stuff, you know. Little tidbits here and there. I didn't do much filming on it because you're really not supposed to, but I got some pretty cool stuff. I got a video of that old auto car uh, uh, log truck we bought. 
I, I took it up the first time because uh, little Dicky had been running it, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want to put him in jeopardy, so I took it up over this hill the first time, loaded a snot out of it, and had him chase me with the 748. Figured if the 748 wouldn't push it up over, one of the bulldozers on the job, they got two eights and two or three sixes, D sixes there. So one of them will push it up over, you know. It's got a big push bumper on it. So we freighted the shit out of it, and we went up this hill. You ought to see, I mean, the camera don't do it justice how steep this freaking hill is. But it's so steep that we come up on the blacktop road at the top, we thought the, like, the, uh, the dry shafts and the frame and stuff was going to rub on the, <laughs> on the road. It, <laughs> but I got some video of that. It's cool. I mean, that thing just, that old girl runs, I'll tell you what. So, happy with that. We've been getting, I don't know how many, I think he hauled, I don't know. 18 or 20 loads off the line with it this week so uh, again a super secret top secret it's a gas line we're doing but gas line right away so we got to move this wood out of their way and you know so they could work so it's pretty fast paced but anyway I got some good video of that and then um, just thanking everybody again I think we're up to like 885 subscribers that blows my little mind um, I want to thank uh, everybody for leaving the comments and great bunch of folks you guys are really it's it's just fun um, uh, uh, Mike McCoy the real McCoy I was watching his videos this morning Mike I, I apologize dude I didn't even know you had videos and I uh, I got a notice that you put one up and I clicked on it and great stuff I mean you want to talk about a boy has been around a little bit there and uh, Boy, just really, really interesting stuff. I gotta sit down and do some of that uh, story time. If anybody would like to hear hear a few stories, I got quite a few. I've been doing this for 36 years, so um, it's hard to believe. But anyway, um, I got some pretty cool stories. Um, I'd like to tell some of them. If anybody's interested, just say yeah, tell a story, and I will. <laughs> I don't want to bore anybody with the details, you know. But anyway, this job down here, it's, uh, we're staying, we're staying, I'm staying away from home for, you know, well, we went, we didn't go Monday because they rained out, but, uh, Tuesday, uh, through Saturday, you know, 12 hours, uh, almost 12 hours Saturday, well, 10, I guess, we left at about 5, so I'd get home, but it's a long week, I'm tired, I slept till 8 o'clock this morning, I just, I'm getting too old for this shit, you know, <laughs> but, uh, it's good. It's a good job, though. The people who do it working with down there are fantastic. They just couldn't be nicer. A bunch of guys. Most of them are from uh, eastern Tennessee, northern, uh, uh, western North Carolina, Georgia, back in the hills. Just good old hillbillies. They're <laughs> just great guys. And uh, nice people to work with. They've been a pleasure to work with. And uh, I'll, I'll give you more details later when we're done with the job. But uh, it's super top secret information <laughs> for tell you not to kill you <laughs> but anyway so uh, I want to check in with everybody um, wanted to thank everyone again for make leaving the comments uh, check out uh, real McCoy's stuff and buddy uh, we'll be praying for you he, I think he's dealing with a little bit of uh, something like maybe prostate cancer or, uh, boy I I, uh, I didn't know that and, and would definitely be praying for you. everybody give 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 your prayers up for uh, for uh, yeah, Mike McCoy, real McCoy. Check out his videos. Nice, nice fella. And uh, who else? Oh man, uh, oh, who's 31? And uh, God, I don't know. Uh, there's so many guys on there. I can't remember everybody's name, and I keep saying I'm gonna write them down, and I never do. But uh, just a whole bunch of good stuff out there. And. Uh, uh, another thing I wanted to update you too, we're having uh, an artist guy work on our little logo, our stump jumper logo, and Mammy took the stuff all down to the hat and shirt printer lady, um, but she hasn't gotten back to us yet this, this week, so she, they're supposed to go to print here pretty soon, I believe. So hopefully within another week or two I'll have some hats and stuff to give away. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll sell some too. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I, uh, I, for now, I just, I figured I had like, I don't know, I think we're getting 50 or 60 hats made up and 
maybe some t-shirts and stuff but for now I, I I don't know whatever you know I'm I just now nah, give some away uh, I got one guy I promised a hat Bill Stern I haven't forgot about you buddy uh, I'll get you a hat as soon as I get and when I said that I thought I had some hats left I had hats made years and years ago and there was two left and they were all grungy and cobwebby and they were up in the attic I just I tossed them they were gross so but I I'm making some new ones and uh, I think the, I think they're gonna be pretty cool so I'll keep everybody posted I did I I already have uh, that one hat video I didn't forget about it believe me Mammy won't let me forget about it but uh, the one hat video uh, well the one giveaway video about the chainsaw handle for a fuel hose hanger so I got everybody who posted that day what they thought it was and anybody who was correct I'll, I'm gonna we're gonna put your name in, in one of the hats and shuffle it around and we'll pick a winner for that and then I'll, I'll I'll do some more video on that and announce it but and then uh, we're also we I have a, a little giveaway contest on naming the old auto car I've, I've got uh, I got a few ideas you know but uh, yeah so you guys come up with whoever gets a uh, comes up with the, the best name that I like I'll I'll give you a hat so but we're going away for the fourth for a few days we're going well we're taking a whole week because mills all shut down anyway for that week around here so we're going to take our little grandbabies up to new hampshire for a few days and uh visit family and friends up in rhode island where we're originally from but uh so but i'll keep you posted up I'll, I'll check in and i do apologize i've just been so stinking busy man i just a couple of nights at the motel i brought my little laptop computer there and, checked in answered a few folks and but hey get you know get done at seven you get a little something to eat get a shower and it's like nighty night baby out like a light you know so but uh, uh ryan put a couple of videos up on the mad bull job and uh they're doing good up there they're they moved on to mostly a, uh, a wood job right now because uh, the the last block it's most it's a TSI thinning mostly wood there's like a hundred and ten thousand foot of saw logs on it and the rest of it's all pulp wood a scrag you know so but the mill wanted us to do that because they were getting pretty full on logs anyway and then this time of year if their log yard gets full they start staining and losing you know uh, losing on the board content and whatnot because it stains and whatnot and cracks and so we got that going on when I finish the super secret project I'm gonna be working right close to home about 10 miles from home and it's gonna be lovely can get my life back for a while and uh, got a 35 acre clear cut to do right over in town here and then I've got a 110 acre piece basically a shelter wood cut uh, right close to home that's about 25 miles from home so we're gonna be home and we're gonna be making some pretty cool videos so stick with us guys love y'all Talk soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Ta-ta.